Hello, my name is Chris Moore and I'm a Solutions Engineer for Ring Central. During this session, I'm going to take you through a tour of what Ring Central is and what it can do to connect your employees and drive business outcomes. Ring Central is a unified communications as a service provider, delivering a secure and reliable platform to drive conversations using our messaging, video, and voice capabilities. We have a stable platform globally that delivers five nice percent SLA for stability to ensure that all our customers have high quality of service and HD voice and video and can do so from desktop and mobile devices. Taking you through the Ring Central app. So here I'm showing the Ring Central app running on Mac OS, but we also support Windows and mobile devices and tablets that run on Android and iOS. Here at the top, I have the ability to search across all my conversations, as well as the ability to navigate to all of the different services that we have, message, video and phone. Now, even though these are separate icons with their own menus, uh, all of these services are integrated. Here you see that I have a team which I'm working on uh, to drive a particular business outcome. And here I have the ability to start a video call as well as an audio conference call straight from within the context of this particular team. I have multiple teams on the left as well as direct message conversations that I can escalate very easily to a call or to a video conference if I need to. Now, what we're going to start with first is that we can see that uh, I'm receiving a call from Carrie Ann Moss. So I'm receiving this on my desktop device. And I have the ability to uh, control this, have which way I want to, as I have I've muted. Uh, but I could see that Carrie Ann is also on the Ring Central platform. She's actually calling from her iPad at the moment. And uh, this would be the same if I was getting a call from outside of the organization. I would see their caller ID and their name if they were in my address book. But I have quite a few uh, capabilities here. I have the ability to transfer the call. So if I needed to move this call onto someone else, I can very easily find that and transfer the call through to a person uh, by talking to them first or just call tra or cold transferring it straight away to that new caller. I have other controls such as the ability to park the call. So if I want to move to another desk phone in the office, which I can do, then I can pick it up there. And I can also record this call on demand if I want to. I also have the ability to flip the call to another device I have saved. But let's say at this point that I needed to move on to my mobile device. So if I come onto my mobile device here, I can see that the call is currently active at the top. So I just need to press that green bar at the top. But before I do, you can see all the messages, like for example, Q3 clients that I've been working on. So everything is not missed. Even though I'm on a mobile device, I'm not missing a beat. So let's go and launch into that voice conversation because I'm about to get in the car. And there we go. I've now moved this conversation from my desktop onto my mobile device. I have the same abilities to transfer the call uh, and to recall park and flip, but I can also switch the, to, the, to my carrier, so to my mobile phone number, because this is through Wi-Fi at the moment, um, in order to carry on that conversation. And at the same time, everything's being logged, everything's being reported on so that we can measure the performance later for all of our teams. So coming back to my laptop now, I can see straight away that the persistence of the conversation still remains. So I can switch this call right back to my desktop. And now we've taken this conversation straight back to uh, my laptop and I can carry on having that conversation. I also have the ability to look at all of my voicemails and call recordings. Uh, and I don't have to listen to them either. I can see the transcript of them. So I don't need to spend time aside to try and listen to them. And so I can action on them. I can message carry on or I can call her straight back when I need to. Let's move on to video meetings now. So there's a video capability within Ring Central, uh, and at the moment this is integrated into my Outlook calendar. We support Outlook and Google Calendar, so I'm not having to necessarily go to my calendar solution, but we do provide integration with those if you so wish. But I can uh, I can schedule a call straight away and and set whether people are allowed to join. Um, and allowed to control certain things and whether cameras are turned on or off on joining. So I can predefine my meeting. Um, but here I can see that there's uh, already a meeting right now. So I'm going to join this.
I won't join by audio at this point. So here we can see that Chris, I am joining this meeting, but also Carrie Ann is joining this meeting as well. So I have Chris joining from his laptop. I also have Carrie Ann joining from her iPad. And from mobile devices, from a meetings perspective, I could be running this on my mobile device and have all the same levels of control that I have on the desktop. I have other capabilities such as the ability to record these sessions and then share them afterwards, as well as features such as screen sharing that you see here. So I can share the right screen or the right application. And again, that will be captured in the recording as well. There's also other features such as uh, chat within the meeting room. And I can see all of my participants and seeing how their connectivity is. So I can start to mute and as well as start to see uh, who is speaking. So if we have 20 people on the call, I can remove them or mute them uh, at my leisure. Let's end the meeting for everyone now. So we've shown so so far we've taken you through the Ring Central app both on the desktop as well as on the mobile device. Now let's move on to showing you what you can do from Microsoft Teams. Ring Central supports Microsoft Teams in many ways, and what we've announced recently is supporting of direct routing, allowing calling from Ring Central and using Ring Central to be offered up into the user experience of Microsoft Teams like so meaning that people can make and receive calls through the Microsoft desktop and mobile client, offering the ability to not only transfer calls, but also the ability to dial numbers, so providing a dialing service from within the Microsoft Teams user experience. We can also offer the ability to uh, start video conferencing, using the Ring Central video capability, as well as doing audio conferencing all powered by Ring Central or Ring Central behind the scenes. There is one admin user interface for everything for the Ring Central platform, allowing you to, to control many different things. To start, you can control and provision users, assigning them the right levels of access, the right devices, the right numbers and extensions that they need to in order to achieve their objectives. You can also delegate access and control to team leaders so that they can control their teams as they so wish. If we look at the phone system, we have many items and areas of control. For example, we can manage call queues, whether they be internal or externally facing. You can control how those call queues are configured by controlling the greetings, the business hours, as well as the people who are on those call queues and how those people receive and deal with those calls as they receive them. We also have the ability to create IVRs. We have a visual editor to allow anyone to be able to create IVRs if they have the ability to do so, to direct callers through to the right place on specific key dials, whether it be an extension, a call queue, or another menu, as it is in the case here on the right. You also have the option to divert to a voicemail if you choose to do so. You also have the ability to track back in the history of call logs and listen to any recorded calls as you wish. And you can also, if you're a larger organization, you can use the analytics capabilities to drive into the performance of individuals, teams, as well as queues within the organization and able to measure specific KPIs as we have here. If you want to, you can also look at the quality of service to see how your teams are progressing and how their call quality is. So you can deal proactively with any problem calls, with any performance issues that might have been had between an endpoint and the Ring Central platform. We have taken you on a tour of Ring Central, showing you what it can do and how it can connect to your employees and drive business outcomes. Thank you very much for your time today. If you are interested in anything else within Ring Central, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.